The Cloud Palace. Bit of a weird name, maybe, but I actually quite like it. If you've been following my stories or, you know, if you've watched my older videos, you know that we have lived in some absolute shoebox-sized flats over the last couple of years. And this really does feel like a uh, cloud palace because of my obsession with clouds and the fact that this feels like a palace. This time-lapse film consists of about 60,000 photos, I believe, give or take, which is about 1,800 gigabytes of data which probably isn't even half of everything I've shot. I have so much more stuff to share and maybe I'll make like a very long extended version, like a one hour long time-lapse video or something. I don't know, if that's something you'd like to see, let me know in the comments. Now, I would like to, well, first of all, I will talk about the gear I used and the software I used to make this video, but I wanna share a quick word about the sponsor of this video. It's the first time that I'm working with Artlist. Artlist is a music licensing website for filmmakers like you and me and pretty much what they do, their whole shtick is that they have music by indie artists. So with their affordable subscription, which is good for you and me, you support indie artists. Uh, they get fairly compensated, properly compensated, which is lovely. And on top of that, they have got so many sound effects, which I used quite heavily in this video as well. The cool thing is, if you have an active subscription, you can download as much as you want. And even if your subscription expires, you can keep using that in whatever way you want to use it. You can, you know, use it in a mobile app or use it in a video or a film or an advertisement or whatever. It is a very simple one-stop shop, worldwide royalty-free license. It's affordable for you and I, and you support any artists, which is something that I'm passionate about. I care about supporting, you know, small artists like myself. If any of that appeals to you, or if you want to support me and this channel, you can click the link below this video. Not only do you support myself by just clicking that link, you also will get two months totally for free if you subscribe. So yeah, go check it out, I guess. Anyways, now about the gear and the software. This was shot on four different cameras. I had the EOS R6, also used my old Canon 60 Mark IIs. Oh, there goes the light again. <laughs> Even though it's charging, I feel like that's gonna be a recurring thing if I don't change that power input. Anyways, EOS R6 and a 60 Mark II with the LR Timelapse 2.5 remote. I just got the three in, but that's for another video. Then I also shot on the Lumix S5 and the Lumix S1. Lenses ranging from 16 to 35, 24 to 70 and 70 200 as well as a 24105. And then pretty much all of that data gets dumped on solid state drives. That gets imported into Adobe Lightroom. I use Lightroom to color grade and organize these time-lapse sequences. There are so many of them. I assume you know this by now already. And then I use LR time-lapse to edit all the Holy Grail stuff, even though most of it was straight out of camera, which might be surprising, but I'll talk about that in another video. And then I use Adobe After Effects to stitch all these photos, all these raw photos into high resolution video files. And that's pretty much it. I've got separate videos about all the software and hardware that you can check out or just check out the tutorial playlist. And that's all I've got for you. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll try and get back to you in the comments. And yeah, you can support me and this channel directly by just clicking the link below this video. That's much appreciated. And yeah, see you on the next one.